So hello and welcome to my channel, The Computer Lab. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set the background image for your Safari web browser on your Apple Mac. So before I show you how to set the background image in your Safari web browser, we'll just need to check that you are running a compatible version of Safari. Now, Apple introduced this on Safari 14, which is compatible with uh, Catalina, Mojave and Big Sur and obviously anything beyond there. So anything uh, newer than Catalina, uh, it should be okay to install Safari um, 14 and beyond. So to, wait, to check that and to make sure that you're running the correct Safari version is obviously open your web browser, Safari up, click up on the top left hand corner where it says Safari and then just go down to where it says about Safari and then we're going to click on that and then it shows you there that obviously I am running version 14.01 so I know that this browser is going to be compatible so that's the first thing you need to check otherwise you're not going to be able to set the background image the way that I show you so once you've got that and you've checked that you're running the correct version of Safari you just need to obviously change the image there's a couple of ways to do this. Um, the most obvious way is when you are on your image in Safari, so you've got Safari open, in the bottom right hand corner, you'll notice they are, there are three bars in the bottom corner and we click on them. Just before I click on them, uh, you need to obviously make sure that you've got your page set as this is your home page. So when you click on a new page, you might have to close the browser down uh, and reopen it. It is default uh, for Apple, but if you've changed it to something else, you need to just reset the defaults so you get these three bars uh, in the bottom here. It's basically the start page that you want to be seeing. Okay, so down to the three bars in the bottom corner with these three dots on. We'll click on that and then straight away you can see the list of things that it's going to show in Safari in the web browser and yours might or might not have this ticked where it says background image. So you can see as soon as I tick or untick that, so at the moment it's unticked, there is no background image there. And then click on the background image and then we are uh, free to choose any of these images that Apple has presented us with. So let's say I wanted this one with the stripes, click on that and hey presto, it sets the background image. So that's all very good. I can also pick by hitting this plus icon a desktop image or one that's in my sort of desktop wallpaper folder which I think is in the library folder it's in a hidden folder on your Mac but if I click on this plus icon this then opens a finder window up and opens the desktop pictures up so in here I can then pick an image and let's say I wanted this one here for example this desert one um, and I click choose and then that will set the desert image it does take it a minute because it's just coming out of the library folder and it's putting it into your uh, obviously your web browser Safari and it will update once it's loaded and you can see there now we now have the desert uh, picture which is out of the desktop uh, images folder on my Mac uh, so that's another way how to set the image so you've got the two different ways there you can pick using the plus icon uh, in here or you can pick one of the default desktop ones which are run a bit quicker because I think they're designed to run with Safari so they always run a bit smoother than actually loading from the desktop um, uh, wallpaper folder uh, but uh, they're both fine and as long as your machine is reasonably powerful it should be okay and the last way I'm going to show you is by far the easiest way and that is to save an image into your um, pictures folder one that you've taken or one that you maybe want to use as a family photo or something you've taken that you're proud of and you want to show on your Safari browser uh, then all we need to do is save it into a place make sure we don't delete it because if you delete it it will be gone and then you won't see it in Safari so I've saved this one onto my desktop, which is obviously just easy to show you, but you can just drag it out of Finder and then drop it onto your Safari window. So say we want to drop this one off, so I'm just going to left click, drag it across, let go, and you can see there's my uh, personalized image. And I will see that every time now that I open a new page, and as long as it's on the start page, it will open up with this window here. Um, obviously, if you want something else, say you're on the Apple website, and then you click on a new page, like so, it will open up with that image that we've set. And we can set that back by clicking on the three bars again, maybe choosing one of the desktop ones and pick one of them. So that's it. There's the three different ways to set the background image in your Safari web browser using Safari 14 and beyond. I hope this video has been helpful. I know it's only a short one, but if it has, please do subscribe to my channel. Any subscriptions always help my small channel. Please do hit me up with any comments below and also give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And thanks again for watching my channel, The Computer Lab, on YouTube.